Here's the blessing, the Baraka Ha Gafin or Ha Gafin, from the Ibrit um, Lia Nitzarim site or the Hebrew for Christian. So we just dealt with the blessing over the bread. Now this is the traditional sabbatical, um, traditional fasika Pesach blessing. Now, the traditional blessing of the wine, or the grape juice, here it goes right here, based on Psalm 23 and 5, you prepare a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Now, in the traditional sense, the wine it represents joy. And the full cup marks our appreciation of wine. In each case, or the wine edge, in each case, the core blessing Baraket recited is as follows. And here we go right here. Translation, bless art thou, Lord Adoni, Yahweh, our God, Eloheinu, King of the universe, Malek, Ha Olam, creator of the fruit of the vine, or the bore, fre, or pure, pari, but really this is similar to the Ethiopic and Amharic fre, fre, ha gafen, ha gafen. So the whole blessing is Baruch Ata. Yahweh, or it's often said, Adonai, Eloheinu Malek HaOlam, Borei Peri Ha Gafen, or Borei Frei Ha Gafen. Bless art thou, Lord our God, King of the universe, creator of the fruit of the vine. We went a little bit forward right there. Okay, let's so now there's the there's a chalice or what's called the Kadush cups. The Kadase Siwa. The Siwa, the cups. Now in the Jewish home, the Kadush is recited at the beginning of each Shabbat and holy day or holiday meal, such as Pesah, such as the Lord's Supper. Now, the Kadush cups, available in particularly any material, they make a wonderful housewarming gift. A bar or a bat mitzvah is also an excellent time to give a commemorative uh, Kadush cup, or like the chalices, the chalice cup we're speaking about. Many of the Kadush cups include the last three words of this blessing, of this barakat written on them as in the example shown above, as an example right here. So we see the last three words right here, the bore um peri or fere ha gafen. And then when we look at the cup, we have the bore uh puri or fere ha gafan. The creator of the fruit of the fruit, the pure or puri in the Hebrew, modern Hebrew, and Fere, Bamarinya, and in the royal Amharic, Ha Gafen. Now, so we touched on the chalice. That's, that would be the idea of the chalice cup, the original Hebraic idea of the chalice cup. Now, we know that this wine or this cup renewed or new in the kingdom of the King of Kings and his Christ, it is the Rastafari chalice cup with the spiritual sacrament of the Kanabosa. But first we're dealing with foundation right here. So we're going from the Old Testament uh, foreshadowing, the fulfillment in Yeshua, and going over the Hebrew blessing of the wine or over the wine. Now here it goes where the cup was lifted up by Yeshua. He said, Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Malek HaOlam. Bore peri ha gafen. Bore fere ha gafen. 
So this is the area in the scriptures concerning the Lord's Supper and the, the last Passover or Fasica and the institution by our black Lord and Savior, Adoni Yeshua, dear to Jesus or the Lord Jesus Christ, when he lifts up the cup, and I remember in the mayor's home, they don't recognize him, but when he says this blessing, when he, you know, when he lifts up the cup and he, and he blesses, blesses the, you know, the bread, the wine, blesses it, gives this particular blessing. You understand? Because it's word activated. You see, it's word activated and powered by imnet or powered by faith. So we have the Baruch Ata Yahweh or Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Malek Ha-Olam Borei Tari Ha-Gafen. But we prefer the Ethiopic clarifies the real pointing of this word to fare, fare these three words that are on the cup of the wine or the grape juice, right? So now we have right here this. This is the same site which has the Hebrew blessing study cards, and we highly recommend this the Dek Mezamorit to check out this particular site um, from a Judaic Hebraic perspective. It's really based on that foundation of Judeo Christianity. Now, Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Malek Haolam Borei Peri Ha Gafen. All right, so let's go now to the Messianic, the Messianic blessing or the true Christian blessing or Nazarene blessing for the wine. Now, the followers of Yeshua can regard the traditional blessing as a prophetic of the resurrection of the Mashiach or the Messiah, the Moshiach, as our first fruits, we must remember that he told the disciples, I am the true vine, and my father is the vine dresser. Kedus Avatachin is the vine dresser. I am the vine, you are the branches. Whoever abides, lives, dwells, it's a liberty, in me and I in him, he it is that bears much fruit. For apart from me, you can do nothing. Now, it's very important for us to remember in Rastafari Revelation that in his majesty's autobiography, in his prayer to the son, he would quote and invoke the same the same word concerning us that may we take note of the word which you have spoken for apart from me you can do nothing and apart from Christ in its kingly character we can do nothing now in light of this great metaphor Yeshua used to describe our relationship with him a better blessing baraket is to praise Yeshua as our true vine. Like when we say the blessing over the bread, the bread from heaven. Now here it is in the Hebrew, right? Here's in the Hebrew, and let's go over it. It's uh, Baruch Ata Adonai, or Yahweh Eloheinu, Malek Ha Olam, Bore Fure Ha Gafan, Ha Amitit. Hamitit Yeshua, Ha Moshiach, that the the true vine, the Ha Gafen, Ha Amitit, Ha Amitit, in other words, the vine of the truth, the vine of the truth, so the vine of the truth, the true vine. So here we have a fullness of it right here. So this is the blessing over the cup, the blessing over the wine, the blessing over the the chalice right here. So once again, let's just go over this one more time right here. And this site is really excellent because it has some study cards, PDFs you can download and print them out for the family and all those who are gathered for the Fasica or the Shabbat Seders, you know, the Shabbat meal, the real idol. The real Aito, as we say, would say, it's Rastafari, the Aito stuff. 
So once again, Baruch Ata Adonai, or in the Hebrew, Baruch Ata Yahweh, Eloheinu Malek HaOlam, Borei Puri HaGafan. Messianically speaking, bring this up right here. We have Baruch Ata Adonai, Baruch Ata Yahweh, Eloheinu Malek HaOlam, Borei Forei HaGafan. Ha Amitit Yeshua Ha Moshiach. Bless are you, Lord, our God, King of the universe, creator of the fruit, creator of the fruit of the true vine, Yeshua Ha Moshiach. So give thanks, my brothers and sisters. Stay tuned. More to come. Shalom.